Hi, back from Nepal. Oh fuck! <laughs> Hi, I'm back from Nepal after traveling in that beautiful country for two weeks. But of course, I miss Pune too, and I'll tell you what I missed. First of all, to begin with, I miss the internet. I think it should be on top of Maslow's pyramid now. I mean, there you could only get internet for like maybe 30 seconds, and then it's gone again. So I missed my music, I missed watching good videos, and I missed spaces of lucidity. That is also there. Yeah, you can only check your mails and do your official things, but that's about it, you know? Well, the second thing I missed was chai. Yeah, their chai is, I would say, in my words, I'd call it very, very fika. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of water and very little, uh, I think it's green tea. Green tea mixed with masala tea, I don't know. But something like that. So I miss that. They don't put cardamom there. They don't put um, ginger in their tea. It's just plain, watery, fika chai. Uh, the third thing which I missed are the flavors in food. I mean, I've been cursing Pune food for a long, long time. When I went to Hyderabad, I loved Hyderabad food because it offers you so much variety. But when I went to Nepal, I realized what Pune is offering as food. Like the street food and the amount of flavors you can choose from. And you can go to a Chinese restaurant, you can go to a... And that, that too under, under 100 rupees, you know. And you can go to a, an Iranian restaurant or any restaurant and especially Misal and the bazillion flavors we have. I missed it there. Because, maybe because of their mountainous conditions, they have very, very bland food. Uh, I wouldn't call it flavorless, but yeah, it's kind of very little flavor. And the last but not the least thing which I missed, and probably Maitre would come and strangle me for that, but I missed the Pune roads. Surprise! Yeah, yes, yes, I missed Pune roads and the way people drive and the rickshaw drivers, all of them together. <laughs> Because, I'll tell you why, because they do not have meters. So you can't tell them, Bhaiya meter se jao. And they do not understand, oh, they pretend not to understand Hindi. Then, the roads, mm, they look like Mars. Now, it's a cliche comparison, but they actually do. And they have these low clearance vehicles as taxis, which is Maruti 800. And they take it through those potholes as if, I don't know, they're riding a mass rover or something, you know, they just go all the way in full force. And you just, you're just hoping that your brain does not end up in your anus. <laughs> but nonetheless, I really miss these things, which I just said, and a couple of other things, but I can't figure them now. But as of now, I mean, here in Pune, and I'll be continuing with my Spaces of Lucidity episodes. And probably Nepal would be still a topic here and there in the following episodes. So do be a part of us. And I'll see you next week. Ciao. We're happy to welcome you. Have a Bible vision.